Hi, I'm Christian Campana of OhioFestivals.net, and I'm here to present you with the, uh, the festival updates for the month of March. There's not many this month, so I might as well just get them all in one shot. Um, the big festival this uh, weekend, actually, from the 1st to the 4th of March, is the Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus, Ohio. And this is a really big event. Um, I consider it a festival for... Um, the, there are a series of vendors, activities, and things. Not so much music that I recall, although there will be a lot of boom boxes probably or things playing during um, perhaps balance beam performances or karate, who knows. Anyways, it has festival in the name too, so that works out. Uh, this is a ticketed event, so go to the site to find out how much they cost. I believe they're maybe $10 for just a general um, expo thing. In the expo, Really cool. Just hundreds of vendors um, selling everything from uh, high-protein foods, uh, whey, bars, uh, drinks, that sort of thing. Anything exercise-related, whether it's equipment, whether it's magazines, whether it's clothing, um, even a website or a regular dating site for people who exercise. There are the most fit people you'll see in your lifetime and sometimes a little overfit there's some of the they have muscles upon muscles upon muscles it's incredible and just the culture is incredible and so i should explain that if you're going to go there you should get there fairly early because along with um, all these booths it's a lot of free stuff and when you start seeing lines of people it's to go for a booth for free stuff and you can get like samples and drinks and t-shirts and um, just a ton of stuff, boxes of protein things. I could go to uh, read my review of last year and see the pile of stuff that I got. It's rather interesting. And you might see Arnold while you're there. He does go every year, I believe on Fridays or something, I'm not sure, but you'll want to check on that. So I really do, uh, if, if you want to see something, even if you're not involved in any kind of athletic activity at all, uh, even just as a cultural event, it is um, wonderful. In fact, I think I counted it number one last year just for that alone. It was just an incredible experience. Um, so anyways, Arnold Sports Fest, um, so forth. Uh, I have to cheat a little bit because I, I want to take notes and stuff. Um, also, this next or this coming weekend, on the 3rd to the 4th, there is a maple festival in Lima. And it's at the McLean Teddy Bear Park. There are some free tours um, to take you to the Sugar Shack, get some tastings of maple syrup, uh, the maple products, uh, different foods. I'm not sure if the foods are festival related. I mean, I mean like maple related or not, um, but there will be food sold there. And both this weekend, the 3rd and the 4th, and the following weekend on the 10th and the 11th, there's a maple syrup festival in Lucas, which is um, outside of Mansfield. And there at the Malabar Farm State Park, from 12 to 4, they have self-guided tours, they have uh, live musical entertainment. Um, food includes maple products, uh, such as like maple nut fudge, homemade, I believe. Uh, maple cotton candy, maple popcorn, and there's other food and maple products available for that. So I'll probably go the weekend of the 10th and 11th, so you might see me there. Um, another festival the following weekend is on the 18th. Uh, one day event is Buzzard Sunday in Hinkley, and every uh, March 15th, the buzzards come back to Hinkley. And there's this cool story about this great Hinkley hunt where, like, the, the settlers shot all these buffalo or. Uh, no, I don't. A lot of animals, let's just say that. Just tons of stuff. And, um, but it was during the wintertime. And so you had all these dead carcasses all along the field. And then when things started to thaw, the buzzards came, and they had such a great meal that legend has it they keep coming back on the exact same day. Uh, so March 15th is the day. And at 7 o'clock in the morning at the uh, Cleveland Metro Parks Hinkley Reservation, you can go there, and I think there's a tour. You can go check and watch the buzzards come in. It goes from 7 to question mark a.m., of course. But on the 18th, which is uh, that Sunday, Buzzard Sunday, uh, they have special activities at the Cleveland Metro Parks Hinkley Reservation. And they bring in um, live uh, buzzers. I think they had two or three last year with people there to teach you about them. Um, you see how far their wingspan is. It's incredible. There's a review on this, too, at the Ohio Festival site. 
And there are other animals, I believe. I think there were snakes and other critters. Uh, there is musical entertainment. There was a Boy Scout sort of activity obstacle course last year. Uh, and there is food with maybe uh, buzzard-related names, such as I think I got a buzzard burger that was rather tasty. And, um, and it, the park itself is pretty nice. So I would go and check that out. They also have, you can buy a buzzard hat. They had buzzard cookies um, and other things. So definitely worth seeing. Um, other than that, there are a few other act or festivals listed on the blog uh, in the schedule page, but some of these I don't have much information on. And I, I tried to find official websites, but it was sort of shady. Um, so if you're in the area for some of these other festivals like Sardinia, Greenville, um, uh, you know, hopefully the local paper will be able to get you to them. And if I do find more information, I will post on the Ohio Festival's Facebook page. So keep informed with that. Um, other than that, uh, look forward to catch you up with April and hope that you have a wonderful festival month. Okay, take care.